We're gonna make stuffed mushrooms today. These are baby bella mushrooms. There are many types of mushrooms that you can use. It doesn't matter what kind you choose. These are the ones I like the best. So this is a recipe that you can make any time of the year. You can make it during the holidays. You can make it having guests over for dinner. And you can make these like as an appetizer with a glass of wine before dinner for people. It's always a hit. So I'm, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this recipe. So first thing we're gonna do is wash the mushrooms. Rinse them and wash them thoroughly. So these are the items you're gonna use here. You wanna take your cream cheese and let it get to room temperature because you're gonna blend that together with all your other items. So the first thing we're gonna do is wash the mushrooms and then I'm gonna show you how we prepare those. And we're gonna chop everything up and, and cook the bacon. So we can start anywhere we really want. I'm gonna start with chopping up some bacon and I'm gonna do them like in probably one to two inch chunks and just um, cook them like that. And then later I will um, kind of cut them up and, uh, or actually crumble them up. You can do smaller pieces like this. I think I'm gonna kind of do maybe um, inch sizes. So that's the first step, we'll uh, cook this up first. Okay, so we're cooking the bacon and we wanna make sure that this is crisp. The bacon that we're gonna have inside this uh, is gonna be crisp. Okay, so um, we're gonna use two scallions and we're gonna use a half of a red onion. I like to combine both of them. And we're gonna have probably a dozen mushrooms about this size. Um, it's just gonna be for a couple of people. It's not like a big party. If it was a big party, I would use a whole onion and maybe another one of, uh, another scallion, but it's not. So um, I like to use these two different kind of onions in this dip that you put, that you stuff the mushrooms with. Slice them up like this, kind of thin. So this dip will be really fragrant and colorful. That's why I like to use these two. They're, they're very fragrant and they give it a lot of color too. Okay, this is just about as crisp as you want. Now you'll put them on paper towels to uh, drain. Next, you're going to grate like um, a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese. That's the cheese that I use for this because it has a, a little bit of a sharpness to it. It also has color, kind of an orange yellow that it not only looks good, it tastes really good. So anywhere, but you're probably going to have like I would say three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese grated. So the majority of work is going to be prep work because it will take very little time to actually cook these mushrooms. So you're gonna get your pan ready, like an eight by eight or a nine by nine. And you have all your uh, onions and cheese and the bacon is over uh, draining right now. And the cream cheese is in a mixer. So we're gonna start with a paring knife, and this is how I uh, prepare the mushrooms. 
Um, you have to be delicate so you don't cut them in half. It happens, you can break it. But I kind of do like this, where you can kind of break that part and then you use a spoon and very carefully hold the bottom with your palm of your hand, the inside palm of your hand. And then you, uh, this is how I do it. I clean this out, kind of in a circle with a, a smaller, this is a long spoon, but it's narrow. And I kind of, uh, do this after I wash them. I wash my mushrooms. Um, so, this is uh, how I clean it out. And of course I'm gonna rinse these and let them dry again. So this is the process in removing the stem and taking the inside out. You have to be careful because they can break very easily. So we're gonna do all of these mushrooms. So I'll show you another one. Like I said, you take your paring knife and you go around and then you use a spoon and you, you hold this real firm on the bottom because you have to support the mushroom so it doesn't break in half. And you just go around the inside edges and carefully just clean it out. And then there's these little fringes on the edge that I clean around too. I just go all the way around like that. So there it is, it's all cleaned out. Okay, here are our mushrooms. They've all been decapped and cleaned out and you can see they fit just perfectly. I didn't plan it that way, but there's 16 mushrooms and they fit in this eight by eight, just right. So this is what they look like. Um, now this was the the most work involved, which like I said, the prep is the most work because cooking is going to be a breeze. So I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, now what we're going to do is take the bacon off and we're going to chop that bacon real fine before we add it to all the other ingredients. Okay, so we just want to break this down to in smaller pieces. We already cooked them kind of like in little chunks, like one inch chunks. And now we're just going to come back and kind of break it up. It's easier to do it with a knife. And, and, um, this, I believe, is five strips of bacon. And you could do more. I like a lot of bacon in mine, so um, that's why I did five. You could do less, too. But So this is right about where you want it here. So it's uh, we've kind of broken up some of those chunks. Now all this is going to go together, so it doesn't matter if we put it all together on the same plate. That looks so yummy, doesn't it? That's all of our ingredients. We got the red onions, the green onions, the cheddar cheese, and the bacon cooked. So we're going to add this to the cream cheese. Here's the cream cheese. It's eight ounces. It's been sitting in the mixer uh, softening at room temperature. So what I'm going to do now is just add our goodies in it. And I'm using the paddle attachment. So here it goes. We're going to turn that on. This is the easiest part of the whole preparation, just mixing it. All the prep, like cutting and chopping, that was all the work. And now we're just going to start this and let it blend together. It's super easy to do it this way instead of mashing it with a fork. Okay, here's the mixture. It's got everything all mixed together. And now what we're going to do is fill the mushrooms. So you're going to use like a spoon. And there goes my uh, smoke alarm. Okay, here's the part. We're going to just fill them up. Get a narrow spoon like the same spoon I used. We're just going to fill them up like this. And then what we're going to do, in case that alarm goes off again and interrupts me, you're going to put them in the broiler, under the broiler, and they'll go about 10 minutes, probably at the most, and they'll be done when they sizzle and turn brown on top. They are going to turn brown on top, and that's how you'll know they're ready. 
because you're going to eat them hot, not scalding hot, but you're going to eat them. It's a hot mushroom. So uh, I'm going to finish doing these and I'll get back with you. Okay, here they are. They're all stuffed and ready to go in under the broiler. And I'm going to put them in for eight to 10 minutes. Okay, they're here on the dining room table. I took them out of the kitchen because the smoke alarm was going crazy. I had my broiler on and boy, that was really making that alarm go off. So these are the finished product. They were only in there four minutes in the broiler. That broiler was really hot and that's why the alarm was going off, but these only needed four minutes. So we're gonna give one a try right now. This is all that's left. So it used the majority of them for 16 medium-sized mushrooms. So it's just about right. Okay, I cut this up so it's easier to eat. Um, they're super hot when they come out of the oven. So these are warm now, just how you want them. Mmm. Delicious. So they have just the right amount of cheeses and onions and the bacon. It really is a good combination. I think you'll enjoy this. It's really nice to entertain with these, whether it be the holidays or any time. I hope you enjoy this. Also, just to let you know, there's leftover in the uh, mixing bowl. And instead of letting it go to waste, if you're out of mushrooms and you don't want to get any more, you can just put it on a cracker. You can either heat it up like you did the mushrooms or you can just eat it like this because the bacon is cooked on here. So it's really good with a cracker too. Bon appetit.